Hey guys, Derek here. So I have been a little busy recently, so I have had any time to get any um, content updated and also uploaded. So uh, I have been, this is my latest project. Um, I've been playing around with this, which is the Lynx 3D Diamond. At the moment, it is currently in the 90 position. This also does 45 degrees. It is a belt printer. It runs off a, a Raspberry. Uh, it runs off of the MKS Pi, and it also runs from a MKS TS35 color touchscreen, and runs from an SKR Mini E3V3 board, which is currently situated in there um, as I've said I'm using my uh, phone to record this apologies my uh, main camera has uh, possibly hit the grave I might have to sort out another one but let me know what the quality is like on this and here's and this is going to be my continuation so this is a belt printer it is not for an easy uh, a just print and play jobby. This one is a kit that comprise with all the parts. They're all metal, uh, al al aluminum, all solid metal. You got. Um, I'm just going to hold this here and read off a few parts. Just bear with me. 24 volt heat bed, which is 30, 310 by 310. Uh, the blue belt, which is for better adhesion on all the prints. Uh, currently, they normally have the white belt down there, but this is the improved belt and it definitely does work a lot better. They have full metal roller, roller parts, which are the, the belts themselves. Uh, sink belt tensioner, which are these here here um no sorry my mistake there and there which are to tension the belt um let's have a quick look here sorry it's a double driven motor with a five to one gear ratio which is this one here that moves the belt forward and backwards um, let's have a quick look. Linear rails on both axes, which is the X and the Ys. Uh, adjustable belt holders on each side. It also has filament run-out sensor. And other than that, that is the main print, uh, printer itself. I haven't powered it on. I will power it on now. I'll just let it power up. Obviously, it's running Clipper firmware, which is absolutely fantastic. Never used Clipper firmware before, but it's running Clipper here. To my knowledge, then I've never used Clipper, so I'm talking from a beginner's point of view. Off of the uh, Pi, the MKS Pi, uh, does all the brain work. So that includes uh, all the calculations and everything. Um, obviously the main board, which would normally be doing the calculations, is just the motor-driven part. But this is the actual uh, touchscreen. It's just on the boot-up sequence now. So I'll let that run for a second and then I'll show you a few prints that I've done. While I'm waiting for that I'll go through the prints anyway. So here is the honeycomb system. This was printed on the 45 degree side of things uh, which means this was the belt was ang angled at 45 and there you go that's what the touch screen looks like. So MKS Pi, temperature of them, heat bed, extruder. It is currently hot 
in the cave where I am at the moment. Um, it is one of the hottest days at the moment. It's 30 degrees in the UK when I am printing, um, recording this. So we've got the Flexi Shark, and I'll try to show how clear this was printed on the 45. I mean, uh, uh, that was my fault at the end uh, where the tail decided to come off. I've done one of the, uh, I've done the Benchy. This was done on the 45 as well. Uh, let me see if I can get this in here. That was, this is on the 45 degree. The bell, uh, the uh, dragon. What's another one that I've done on the 45 degree? And obviously I've done two different cubes. I've done one which was 90 degrees. Uh, this is only just the profiles that Scott has done on the forums which I will link down below and this is also another 90 degree cube sorry I'm trying to get it in there we go so these are untweaked profiles these are the profiles that I got from the website it runs the new extruder. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, one second. Uh, there we go. So it's the BQ. This is the BQ H2. Uh, BQ H2 S V2 volcano style direct extruder. I will admit it's phenomenal. Uh, it is really really good uh, and it costs quite a bit of money as well the volume in the 45 degree version when you change it to 45 degrees it is 278 on the width by 170 on the height and then you've got the Z which is infinite on the 90 degree, which is what it is now, on the 90 degree version, this is running at uh, 278 on the X, it is 310 continuous though on the Y, and 260 on the height. So that gives you a fairly large build volume. As I've said, um, I've got some experience with belt printers such as the artillery belt which is down there at the moment currently. And this has been a little bit more interesting due to the fact it runs clipper and that is on Marlin still. But it's a great kit. Currently on the website, it is going for. Hold on one second. On the current on the website, currently it is six two nine dollars. Uh, that does not include shipping. Now, basically, to switch this from ninety to forty five. You would need to change the angle of this so it's you turn it 90 degrees so it faces down. You undo, you un loosen this one, this one, take this one out, and take this one out. You then switch it to 90 degree, uh, 45 degrees. You then place this, which is obviously out into this hole, screw it tight, same with this one, take that out, put it in there, screw it tight, tighten these back up, and you've got a 45 belt printer, 
what you will need to do is change the config file the printer config file which is in the clipper firmware and adjust the Y or the Z end stop which I will just move that out of the way and it's down there, that one there. So when obviously you adjust that up and down. It also has a micro adjustment on the X. So if you're just slightly out, use this and you can get it perfectly level all the way. And the best thing about this is you only have to level it across the X and make sure it's obviously level across there. Um, that's the main part. If you're long as that's level, the front and back can be a little bit off, but you'll find you'll find it's okay. It will still print. Um, so it has the uh, filament runout sensor, which I haven't been using. I just have it hanging down currently. I haven't got a bracket for it, but I just leave it there. It still works fine. Um, maybe I haven't enabled it in the firmware, but it works absolutely fine. Did have an issue with one of the motors. The one of the motors was grinding, like it was different pro pro out. Um, the cables were wrong here. These cables, obviously wrong going into the motor or obviously into the main board. Um, so I've done a few switcheroos and uh, it's all synced up now going across. But this is, um, so I've done a few, like I said, a test print. So this was done at 45. That was also printed at 45, the little um, bit that goes, holds it on, on there. And obviously then you just screw in a hole into the wall and then you've got your like hexagonal pegboard or something. I've only done a test print. I'm going to be doing a lot more and hopefully rearranging my whole setup. But yeah, so this is a very nice printer. It went together pretty well with the instructions on the website. There was, like I said, a few issues with only one motor, which was that one up there. Uh, but other than that, it was just a, a swap around on the cables. I'm not affiliated with Avida 3D, uh, which are the uh, 3D belt printer kits um, people. Um, you can find all their stuff on belt3dprinterkit.com. You'll be able to find all their, um, all their parts everything on their website which is here so you got the two so then you got your 45 and then you got the 90 i've got mine in the 90 at the moment but it's been in the 45 printing most of the time but i've just swapped it to the 90 and it, it just works fine um other than that it's a very nice printer so obviously uh where it said it had uh the sinking thing which is here so this is the belt, obviously the sink between the two motors that makes it go either up and down or Y sort of thing. Um, but it works guys, it just works. Um, what else can I say? Uh, it's a wonderful printer. It took me ages to get this out. Um, I've been extremely busy with work uh, holiday and a few other bits uh, including uh, an arcade machine that I've been building as well if you want any information on this I'll put all the links down below I will also be uploading another video reference to my uh, my arcade machine I will put on and what how I done that but this is the Lynx 3D Diamond printer. If you like tinkering, if you like building um, immediate, um, intermediate to advanced people building, 
by all means. I wouldn't pass this on to a beginner. It would be a no-no. This is obviously a intermediate to a advanced building kit. But it is a very nice kit. It all comes, everything comes in the box, all nice and complete. Uh, there was a few bits I had to print, which was obviously the front cases, uh, the motor cover, some of the uh, parts for the uh, fan, and the other side cover. Everything else was all in the kit. Oh, and the filament holder. Everything else was in the kit, and you just build it, follow the instructions. It's been, I'll be rambling on now. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, sorry for the... Uh, video quality let me know if, if you if it's okay i'm quite happy doing it this way but let me know and hopefully uh, i'll be uploading enough video reference to my arcade machine anyway many thanks see you soon be yourselves bye